All right, FitFam, so I'm going to take you through a quick little journey through my zone. Hopefully, this clears up a lot of questions that you have. Um, I know it can be confusing to navigate through this, but we're going to make sure that you go through it as smooth as possible. So when you open up your app, more than likely, you're going to be right here at your home screen, and it's going to give you any of the workouts that you had recently, any data from other clients or other members that are also working out that you are friends with, and I'll show you how to become friends with them as well um, because we're all under the same facility code. Now the top, it will tell you your monthly status, your lifetime maps, and your status as not, you know, whatever you are. Um, I can show you all the details about that, and it does take a while to stack up your status symbol, so it really is a commitment. As you can see, I don't wear my MyZone <laughs> nearly as much as I should, but some of y'all are insane and do a heck of a job with it. So let's get into it. So in the bottom right-hand corner, we have the little MyZone symbol that was rolled out, and it'll bring you to this menu. We have our body metrics, which is all about you, where you can update your weight, challenges, which we are currently in for the My Zone Challenge, connections, the workout, uh, home, which I believe brings you right back to where we were, My Zone chat, and then my status and notifications. So we're going to really start from the top down. First and foremost, in the top left hand corner, we have this cog right here. So if you click on that cog in the top left hand corner, it will bring you to the setting page with a bunch of stuff. Now, the main things that we need to focus on are my profile. If you click on that, you're able to look at all your data, input your emails, your birthdays, and stuff like that. Um, and it will give you your data right here at the bottom of your monthly target, your resting heart rate, your max heart rate. Uh, those things are important because you know if those things are accurate and your max heart rate, your resting heart rate, and your age is all set, then it should calculate the proper zones for you. Now, speaking of our zones, on the second tab right here, my zones, uh, it will tell you what the, what that means. So for me, it says my max heart rate is 198 BPMs, beats per minute. So for me to be in the 90% range, it's going to be 179 to 198 beats per minute that my, my heart rate needs to be at to make sure that I'm in my red. Now, we drop down a tier. Of course, we're going to be 178 as my max, 159. If you look right under it, though, there is a MEPS per minute. That is the point system we're using. For, for the My Zone Challenge, we're only taking green, yellow, and red. Um, so... You know, for green, you get three MEPS per minute. For yellow and red, you get four MEPS per minute. And, you know, anything else under that, we're not counting for the challenge, but you will still get MEPS added to your score, which is how you have a status. Again, we'll get into that in a little bit. Um, this gives you a little brief overview of, like, why your max rate heart zone is, or why your heart rate is important. Um, and you can read that if you'd like to, but essentially, you know, it gives you just really good feedback on how hard you're training. So let's go back. My zone motion, there's really not anything to do on here, so you can skip that. Uh, it's another device that they have. Um, so if you come down to preferences, this is just some cool things that you can you can use. Uh, like if if you have your my zone on at home and you just have it open, you can turn on sound so it notifies you when you change categories and you can change the settings and how loud things are gonna be or you know how many times it beeps. Uh, you really don't have to do much with that, but if you like to, that's perfectly okay. Uh, you can pretty much skip all of this notification setting. If you want any of these notifications to be on, you can scroll through here, turn them on, or maybe you just don't want to be notified if you have comments or you know chat messages, and you just want it to be you know only when you have your you know your invitations or anything like that. You could definitely mess with these. That's that's all a hundred percent preference. Um, email setting, just making sure that when you're you know you get your email after you're done with their workouts, you can have you know, any of the all of these details on there, or you can turn them all off as well. So let's take a look at appearance settings. So I personally like having it in dark mode, my entire phone, anything that I can. I like having it, you know, with a with a, a black background. But if you like light mode, or if you're in light mode, you can have it right here. Um, if you match the system, it's automatically uh, dark mode. But you can change it back and forth. I'm gonna keep mine on dark mode because that's what I prefer. Now let's move through my zone status. So this is what I was talking about. So with the point system that I discussed, with red and yellow being four green being three, blue being two, gray and under being one, uh, you, you stack up points. So in a month, the goal is to stack up 1,300 MEPS. Uh, I'm not very fast with math, but it's a good amount of MEPS, and it just really means that you've worked out consistently throughout the month. So if in one month you get 1,300 MEPS, you get automatically entered to iron status. So if you ever get a celebration for someone saying, congratulations, you're in iron status, it means that you hit those MEPS for at least one month. Now moving on to the next one, if, if you keep on going for three months, you reach bronze for six months straight silver, for 12 months straight gold. Now, if you do not hit that mark for a month, you will be reset all the way to no status. So it's important that, you know, if we're going after these status things, that you hit it every single month. Of course, you know, you got to hit 
1,300 miles, or MEPS each month for 48 months right there, so for four years in order to reach Hall of Fame status. And that's it. It takes a long time. These things don't just come. I think the highest we have in here is platinum, but some of them, some people should be coming up on that diamond status pretty soon as we're reaching almost three years of having our facility. So let's go back. Um, tutorials, so if you're having some trouble in here, whether it's with calendar, workouts, anything like that, you could always check here in our settings. Um, support is just a customer support feature, so that's that's all good and great. Now utilities, you really don't need to do anything on here to be honest. You could probably skip this whole thing and be perfectly fine. There's a di you know a device diagnostic test, so if your MyZone isn't working, you can you know you can press and continue. I have a workout stored on my MyZone, so I'm not going to do this, or else it's going to wipe all my data. But if you don't have any data stored in there, all your workouts are uploaded, and you're having some trouble with it, you can definitely go through this and see if it, there's any problems with your device. Um, and I think this tells you. No, never mind, you, you can't really read that. Um, so information, all this stuff is just kind of like that, you know, private, you know, the stuff at the end of a, a handbook that you don't really read. Um, if you want to go through legal notices, by all means, but that's not really important. All right, so that teaches you that. That's the setting. Now, body metrics. So right now, it will tell you, you know, your BMI, your max heart rate, your resting heart rate, your current weight. Um, you can change your body fat. If you have that scale, the MyZone scale, which I believe this top left-hand corner will say, you know, you can use, it will give you your body fat percentage and all that goodness. Um, and if you bring it out to the side and you track it consistently, you know, throughout the months and years, then it will have a graph of like how you're doing, which is cool. Um, I do not have that scale, so it, to me, it's, it's not a big deal. But if you do, it's a great tool to have. Now, if we go to the right on the green tabs, we have challenges. So right here, no excuse in November. This is the current challenge we are doing for my zone. Um, it says that I'm in 60th place. I have zero maps behind Tom. I just haven't updated my system. I got a little bit more. Uh, but nonetheless, let's see. So here is the, the ranking. So it, it will go in order of who has the most maps from one all the way down to, you know, the end right there. I'm not going to I'm not going to out anybody. Of course, a lot of us are tied at zero maps. But, you know, for this challenge, you can really see how you stack up on the leaderboard, like our top 10 right here. If you're in that top 10, you know that you want to you know, make a difference or, you know, if you're in the top two or maybe even like if you're like, OK, well, I want to I want to go somewhere in the middle of the pack. Like you can set that goal for yourself, you know, you know, climb as high as you can with this one. And again, like anytime you wear that my zone and you're in the green and the red and the yellow categories, it's going to count towards this challenge. So, you know, any activity that you're going to do, if it's going to go in those categories, you might as well just slap it on. And and go for it. So that pretty much is that for challenges. Connections. So because a lot of us are connected in the facility that you can see on this connections page, a lot of people that are also also connected with the facility. So it's let's say I want to connect with Sylvia. I just hit connect. I've already requested all these people, so it's going to be a little bit different. But when you hit connect, it'll it'll just show that you sent a request. And then as soon as a person accepts your request, you guys will be friends, hence the check mark uh, besides their name. Connections are people that you're already connected to. So just a bunch of people, you know, these are all the people that you're going to get notifications on on your homepage right here. So again, like when you scroll down and all these people on here, it's just you guys are connected um, in the same pace. So let's go to workouts. If my MyZone was on and working right here, you'd be able to see, you know, all of that data like you see on the TV screen. And of course, too, you're able to see your battery life percentage on here. This is one of the only places where you're going to be able to see your battery life. It takes a long time to kill the battery, almost, you know, six to nine months, depending on how frequently you use it. So charge it really, really, really well until it's at 100% one time. And then you pretty much just have to forget about it for a while. And, and then you should be good to go. Now, we already just discussed home. Let's go to my zone chat. So let's say that you know somebody wants to reach out to you. For example, I know Ken sent me stuff. His profile picture is the background, which I think is, you know, it's whatever your profile picture is, it will be the background. Um, so we got, you know, iron status, like I hit iron status, and so people congratulate me. If you want to send a message to somebody else, you're perfectly free to do that. There's a camera option right here. I'm not going to go into any of that, but yeah, you can send some photos or any of that stuff. Um, to, to some of your close friends in the studio. So my stats, this will be your overall, I don't, I don't have a whole lot of stats on here, like I said, but uh, this is your overall stats. You can check from the year, you can check in total, you know, everything that happened, you can scroll all the way down. For some of you guys that have been super diligent on it, like you're able to see a lot of cool stuff on here. Um, 
and then this is going to bring us to notifications and these are just all the notifications if somebody connected with you if somebody messaged you if anything's going on you're going to be able to check it right there in notifications i don't there's not a whole lot for me to to discuss on that one i i suppose but um yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Um, and then also in the top corner, there's help. Again, this brings you directly to the support page. So if you want to proceed, you press proceed, and then it's going to bring you to this page right here. And then you know, let's say once it's done loading, the little the little robot's going to say hi, how you doing? Um, give its introduction, and then you can say, oh, uh, you know, my my zone isn't turning on. My zone, jeez. But see, so then it gives you, if I can scroll, if I can scroll up, done. It gives you a little, you know, moisten the black sensors inside the straps, snap the module in the red, unhook the strap, place the belts around your body, then fasten together. Be sure since you have direct skin contact, da 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 da. So it'll give you a lot of stuff like, you know, how can I change my facility code for whatever reason? If you needed to do that in the future, it'll help you out with that and just give you some guidance. Um, but aside from that, that's a pretty big uh, overview on everything. Uh, feel more than free to look through this video again. See see if there's anything that you need help with. Uh, you could always reach out to me. Reach out to the MyZone help desk. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. But yeah, I think that's it. Uh, I hope you guys have a good day. Take care of them.